Hi there. Uh, welcome to the Auto series where we are posting uh, uh, small videos on uh, some of the functionalities within GTS. And uh, this is part two of the SPL screening. The so last time we saw how offline screening would be uh, uh, Andy tool. So now we are going to go through the positive negative list in, in SPL screening. So first of all, what is a positive list and what is a negative list? In positive list is something where if you know for sure a particular business partner always belongs, I mean always seems to be a good guy, I mean they are they are put in permanent release status. So the system could think otherwise, but in order to reduce the system workload, you categorize them in positive list by that way every time it does the screening on the daily bad job. The, this particular entity is not touched. So negative list is just the opposite. I mean, if you believe, uh, I mean, any any particular business partner for sure it's belong to a sanctioned party, then you you just put them, categorize them in negative list. By that way, it reduces the system workload. Also, helps you to go go through less number of records after every delta screening. So one one good example would be for past list any of your sister concern companies or the companies that you I mean acquire something like that you can I mean some of the vendors or customers you are dealing with your regular vendors so you can just uh, put them in past list and uh, I mean uh, you know you know a uh, customer or vendor which is which has been uh, sanctioned so you can just categorize them in negative list. And I mean, one of the best practices is to make sure that you don't categorize a lot of your records in positive negative list because then there is a risk that you don't touch these guys because I mean, it, you have, we have to make sure those who are authorized to make, to categorize in positive or negative list are very limited. By that way, uh, we take enough caution in making sure the system is compliant enough. And uh, also, you are running a big risk. I mean, because any screening won't happen for for guys who are put in positive or negative list. So there has to be utmost caution in in uh, in who, whosoever who, who does this task. Uh, I mean, there are. I mean, so how do we screen them? I mean, I mean down the lane. Let's say you categorize them today. In two years down the lane, or six months down the lane, if you want to screen them. So what if they are not going to be screen through the daily jobs. So I mean, how are we going to screen them? There are SAP GTS allows some exclusive programs for you to screen the positive and negative negative list and those are the one and only way you can you can screen them, uh, not through any other means. So there are some dedicated programs where you can screen those lists. So let me show you I'll show you a quick demo on the system on how this works. Okay, I'm uh, I'm uh, just for uh, our demo purpose, and I've taken a uh, couple of business partners and I've put them in. Uh, uh, one, I mean, I put them in positive or negative list. Let's consider business partner fourteen seventy seven, which is uh, legacy external number three hundred. So if you see, I put this in. Uh, I put this in negative list. So basically, I, I want this guy to be permanently blocked. So the last time it went through SPL screening, as you can see, is 26th of July 2016 at 7:27 in the evening. So that. So. Uh, I mean, I so since. So since I've, I've categorized this partner in negative list, anytime if I do the screening, let's say 1477. So I go, I go, I do my B1 screening. B1 screening is nothing but re-screening your business partner. So I do it in dialogue mode. Business partner is 1477. So unable to select any data. It's not going to allow me to screen. What's the only way to screen these guys? 
that is some exclusive programs called screen positive list business partner addresses, screen negative list business partner addresses. So I'm going to come here. This is the only way I can screen them. So 1477, if I want to screen, I can screen now. It's going to, it's going to, and it's screened. So let's say I, I save this. So I basically have released them. So now, let me go back to this transaction again. So this is this new business for 1477. So date of SPL screening is changed to today's date. So it's 27th of July 103, which is which is exactly when I did the screening. So so we started with the business partner which was on a negative list. I was not able to screen through the B1 screening, but I used the dedicated program SAP gave to screen uh, the guys in negative list. So that's how I was able to take away from the negative list and that's how I was able to successfully screen a business partner which was on negative list. So the same thing applies. I mean, uh, I mean uh, 1478. So this, you see this guy, 1478, I put this in positive list because I know this is a very safe um, uh, business partner record, so I've categorized in positive list. And the last time I did screening was yesterday, 26th of July. Let me try to do the B1 screening. Oh no, let me go back. It will not allow me. So let me go back to the dedicated program, screen positive list, business partner addresses. 1478, let me screen. It's going to screen. There you go, it's screened, it released. I'm going to save the result. I'm going to go back to my display business partner record. There you go. It was removed from the positive and negative list. It's the screening time changed to today. So we saw two examples, one for each positive and negative list, and how we were unable to do rescreen them, and how we were able to successfully screen them to through dedicated programs. So last thing I would like to cover in this topic is how do we put somebody in positive or negative list? So let me go here. I go to my SPL screening, go in dialog mode, let me say 1478, let me say I, I'm, I'm screening. Okay, so every time I know for sure that 1478 is going to give me a result of release. So I want to reduce the system workload because I know something, something is a very safe bet. So I can just say positive list, I can just just for some reason, always. Always belongs to positive list. So that's how I mean I screen I screen and then one before you save the result, you you have options to say whether you want to categorize something in positive or negative list. So that's how I categorize into into, into these lists. So this just I mean positive negative list is a good functionality within SPL screening where you can categorize the records and try to reduce the system workload and thereby improve the performance. Thank you.